Hi everyone, today is March 12th and this is the JSIPFS weekly core dev call um, where we do our weekly stand-ups. As usual, we'll go through the notes that people left already on the crit path and then uh, see what people uh, have to share with us, what they have blocked and what they are planning to do this week. Um, we can go by the order that we'll post it on the Kitpan. So I guess that's first, first is Volker. By the way, uh, I almost forgot. Um, do we have a backup note picker? Typically these calls are very light on taking notes because people write in advance to the crit pad. Volker, you're a backup note picker? Sweet, thank you so much. Cool, wanna share the place with us? Yeah, all right. Um, all right, uh, so um, last week, um, I actually need to look up. Yeah, so I um, so I spent the whole week getting the um, CI for JS IPFS API green. And like, so most of the issues are Windows related or that are test cases that shouldn't run but are run on the platform and they don't supposed to run. And therefore I created a new uh, shim for the pros node process uh, platform thing. So now you can even use in the browser process platform, which means you can determine if it's Windows or Linux or OS X or whatever it is. And um, so then you can then say, okay, I don't want to run this test on this platform. So I would say it's not a general purpose shim, but it's really meant for um, um, continuous integration kind of things. Um, so I've created that one and posted it, on, posted it, posted it in the IPFS repo. Um, yeah, that's all I did. And I'm currently finishing up things on getting things green. Um, currently the problem is that some tests fail on the CI, but not uh, locally. So I have no clue what the problem is, but I will work with Victor on it. To see what the difference is between the CI environment and is this just Jenkins CI or all the CIs? I've only looked into Jenkins so far. Got it. And it's basically timeout issues, but I'm not sure if it's really like if it's really timing out or if it's something else. But it's only like two or three test cases all the time, so it's the DHT stuff somehow. But yeah, I will look into it and yeah, we'll see what it is. Probably we we'll just increase the timeout into like an insane huge n number and see if it passes just to get an idea of it yeah, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah yeah it's it's hard to tell but um yeah but but the good news is i already had today i had really one test run on all platforms which passed all platforms except for windows but there's an open pull request so we are really close to really having ci green and if it's not green, you basically can re-trigger it and then see, okay, it's the different test failing and you can go, so it's like, it's close. All right. Um, that, that's uh, awesome. Yeah, that's all. So that, that, that is super sweet. Like, uh, thank you so much for like jumping in and I like, just solving all those issues on JSAP Fest API. It was getting really hard to continue giving feedback on JSAP Fest API pull requests because like the CI was always red and I know that I was to download the code and run it myself. Um, right now, I know like there was many, many fixes that you pushed, uh, things on tests, things on like implementation itself, things on just like passing things for the CI. Um, I, like, I, I'm not sure how many issues slash pull requests that I left to merge and release. It would be very helpful for me to get like an issue with the list of the things that need to be reviewed, merged and released to make it all green so that I can help you just like land all of that. Uh, if you could create that issue that's like just as an index, that would be awesome. Uh, perhaps you even have it already. Uh, I just didn't see it. Cool. I see that you're not blocking anything. All right, let's go to the next one, which is me. So, uh, so last week, uh, well, I was Monday off, as you saw, because I was not here on the call. And then um, I, spend a lot of time on administrative tasks. So non-code related tasks, uh, project related, organization related, which I really excited about and it will pay off in a couple of weeks. You'll see. 
uh, so far it's a state secret. It's not like it will, you'll see the update soon. Um, but, but yeah, like given that uh, a lot of my time was leaked into that, uh, but I still managed to review a lot of PRs and merge things and release things. You might have seen me around GitHub just trying to like answer to everyone. And I also fixed um, a regression that was released um, that was released on the last minor release of JSAPFS that was kind of scary because we broke like uh, examples for people, like we broke uh, code for people uh, as we didn't have a one test. Thank you so much, Dimitri, for shipping the test. Uh, I just like pushed, like grabbed that test and landed it on JSAPFS API and JSAPFS and then did the release as fast as possible. Yeah, thanks. I, I, <coughs> I missed uh, IPFS API, JSAPFS API at that point. Yeah, yeah, like it's the checklist. Like every time one changes, the other has to change. <laughs> um, cool. So next, I'll continue developing Leap to be next, as in like just like pushing forward the endeavor. But I really want to give some love to two issues. Uh, one, I'll just bring it right now. One is the uglify question. Like a lot of people come to our reach and say, "Oh, this doesn't work with uglify." And it's like, yes. It doesn't work with Aglify 2 because Aglify 2 only supports CS5. You need to use Aglify 3. But then there is another issue, which is we use a very poor version of duck typing. Like we check for constructor name. And when Aglify does its thing, like it changes the class name. And so then the constructor name doesn't match the class name. Um, yeah, like I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be the one like pushing all that forward, but I would like to like spend at least two minutes of this call in the end, just like seeing like who is available uh, to work on that with me so that we can like just fix that for everyone and not have um, that problem again. There's like at least five issues from the community asking how to make it work. And it's not that hard, it's just annoying. Um, so, and the other thing is there are a couple of PRs um, on a PFS DCL about like restful stop and like reducing the time that it takes to spawn an IPFS daemon, like from 10 seconds to like 300 milliseconds, we really need to get a one in. Like it's going to make tests so much faster. Uh, so I, I want to look into that as well, or at least help the people, which is Dimitri and Richard ship that. Cool, that's for me. Any questions for, for my, my person? No? All right, all right. Thank you so much. This was my update. Next up, we have Machi. How's it going? Uh, great. I was creating a lib peer, peer dissector for Wireshark. Uh, so Wireshark is this packet anal analysis software everybody is using. It's not quite finished. Uh, currently, only a multi stream is uh, added there. Um, I'm working on adding CQIO to that and all the other Max. Um, multiplexers. And uh, I was also trying to fix WebSocket star, but in the end I realized the whole thing is taking all this memory, so it's not the memory leak that's the problem, it's the whole application that's the problem. And... Um, so did we have any improvements at all? A tiny improvement, it wasn't removing the um, public key after the um, crypto challenge, but that was actually a feature because it uh, prevented the node having to do another challenge if the server didn't restart, but the, the connection just uh, aborted or something like that. Okay. Um, but that was only tiny improvement and the whole application is the problem, so yes. The whole application is the problem. It, it doesn't really match my understanding though. Like. What you're saying is that the application is piping so much data that the thing, because it's relaying, has to keep all of the data. But the reality is like a lot of those cases are just like sending a couple hundred bytes. So they, like the server should not. It's, be... uh, it's actually socket IO that's the problem. That's why I'm saying the whole application because um, socket IO is basically everything with a few modules here and there. Got it, got it. So you mean like socket IO is actually pretty expensive on memory and so we have a problem. Yes. I didn't, I don't know what, why I used it, um, but um, I heard now it can be changed because all the nodes are using it and client side changes uh, as I've heard aren't an option. Well, basically what you'll be doing is a breaking change. So in order to like really move forward, 
we would have to support both for a while so that there is like at least a couple of JFIPFS releases where we still have the old token.io enabled endpoints and a new one um, so that like users can still use the old one if they are running an old code. That's it. Like there, there is just like a need for a migration path. And uh, another thing I have seen, I already have written this other version of WebSocket started uses peer-to-peer -peer circuit and no longer uses socket IO. But yeah. now there was this proposal to use a completely different rendezvous protocol and now um, I'm a bit confused. Yeah, okay. So to not like take everyone's time in this call, um, we can sync on that later. The TLDR is like, WebSocket star and WebRTC star were just a shim to get something going. They were never a long-term solution. Like we all agreed to that. Um, creating extra protocols. I also talked with Visa today. Creating extra protocols is just adding more shims. What we need is peer-to-peer -peer circuits and delegated peer routing. That's it. Like, like delegated peer routing and peer-to-peer -peer circuits, like it's everything that WebRTC star, WebSocket star, any readable service is doing. And it's part, like it complies with the lib peer to peer um, module ecosystem. Like it follows the same interface as the peer discovery and the peer routing interface. But again, well, let's like dive more into that. Well, oh, like, do you have any short notes there, uh, Dimitri? Or let's try to, to spend the rest of the call. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, I was just gonna ask about the discovery stuff, but that's why we can take it offline. That's yeah, or or like let's just go through the all updates and like the questions and then like we still have time or we can stay like fifteen more minutes and talk about that. That's okay, great. that's fine. Thank you. Um, and so the next things on my list are I'm currently blocked by school because there are some exams and class tests I would have to write. And I'm also blocked on a few issues from uh, finishing up no trust and uh, these are mainly the ones listed uh, because it can be used to crash the node and uh, the next things I will do is hopefully resolve the WebSocket star stuff, um, finish the libp 2 peer dissect of a Wireshark and um, maybe continue on libp 2 no trust. And last, in last call, uh, Victor said that uh, you had, uh, David, you had some concerns or things to review about no trust mm -hmm. mostly with security and model like uh, it is definitely a very novel and a very clever solution we just need to make sure that is something that we are happy like confident to recommend to our users like as given that it's like such a like a workaround hack to um, do. you said secure but uh, web rtc you remember that back that uh, wasn't really a whole lot secure. If you can just redirect the traffic, just wanted to mention it. Well, that that doesn't that doesn't answer my request, right? Like that. Yes. Is, like it is a different thing. Like we expected to use WebRTC Star just for a couple of months. It took more time. We learned the lesson. Like uh, <laughs> temporary solutions actually tend to stick more longer than what we wanted. The, we want to get away from that. Like, and no trust is like another challenge. It's another vertical, which we um, should know carefully as well. Yes, I totally understand that. But just wanted to mention that because um, it, uh, you know, it's a mistake from your side. And... Yeah, true. Like, sure. Um, absolutely. Okay. So, continuing, do you have any other updates to share, Machi? Um, no, but I wanted to ask the other things you wanted to say about no trust. Was there anything else or? Uh, no, like it's essentially like it should be documented well. Um, it should be easy to audit. Like a lot of people in the team should like really think through like every single aspect of it. Uh, we, we, we should just like, think more about it, like spend maybe have a, a call just to really review it in depth and make sure that we don't uh, shoot ourselves in the foot. Okay, sure. Um, so that's all from my side. All right, thank you. Cool. Uh, next up we have Dimitri. Hey, so um, 
last week. Last week was kind of weird because I, I basically spent a lot of time doing a, li a, a lot of little things, kind of tweaking the circuit tutorial uh, with uh, great feedback from John Cron and, and Rob. Um, did um, troubleshooted an issue with, with um, interrupt circuit, uh, ended up finding the, the, the issue and, and proposing a fix uh, in uh, Go circuit. Uh, looked into IPFS DCTL, uh, great, graceful stop and pushed a few changes there to kind of, again, with findings from John Crumb, thank you so much, uh, to fix the issues that we're running into. <clears throat> Still working on that as well. And then uh, reworked uh, the Implex uh, or Multiplex um, solution with feedback from um, David and, and Frito as well. So, uh, you know, many little, it helped to troubleshoot in the other 5 uh, issue as well. Uh, took a little, a little bit of time there. Um, yeah, overall, just a bunch of smaller things that, that came up and, and I ended up looking into and working on. Um, mm -hmm. But the two big things, the circuit interrupts uh, tests, we should have that one covered 100%, I believe, now. Awesome. And the tutorial is also, I believe, very close to being finished or finished. I, I kind of, um, again, followed on the feedback from Rob and made some changes based on his suggestions. Um, I think it requires one more pass, uh, but um, I believe the, the tutorial is very, very close to, to being finished, tutorial and example app, so. Excellent, excellent. Let me know when ready for me to review. Uh, by the way, like I see here troubleshoot the interrupt issues, browser, browser, JS. Shouldn't mm -hmm. be browser, browser, go. Oh, because, I'm sorry, yes, you're right. <laughs> yeah. It is in browser, browser, go. Sorry about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, yeah great, great find. Like, uh, I was, I'm happy that I was right to claim that we should not skip the test because it might bite us in the future. <laughs> and yeah, that's, really, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, that cool. was a pretty big glaring uh, issue that would have come back to pun us for sure. Yeah, yeah, because like then the way when we add peer routing, then the, the multi others will not propagate correctly. Um, cool. So, yeah, let's make sure to be in sync to like for all the IPFS DCDL things and just get that done as fast as possible because it will reduce test time a lot, which will Absolutely. make everyone's work here uh, a lot easier. Yep, that's my that's my focus. Uh, IPFS DCTL for this next week. Just all right. Yep. Cool. Thank you. Uh, any questions for Dimitri or? If not, John, it's your turn. Great. Uh, if you, <clears throat> I'm getting a little bit of breakup on the algorithm, so if I'm starting to break up in the middle, I don't know if there's much you can do about it, but I'll try to repeat it. <laughs> oh, well. Um, uh, I definitely get a lot of breakup. Um, already? Okay. Try, try again. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so I worked on uh, the, some pin, the, the pin PRs I think are mostly complete. Like, uh, I, I think they're ready for review. There's probably gonna be cycles of feedback. Uh, I, I could, so I could like understand that you said that the pin API PR is pretty much ready for review. Uh-huh. Um, yes, mostly ready. Uh, but okay. I'm sure there will be cycles of feedback. Uh, okay. Um, so I'm ready for that. But they have those those PRs um, uh, have some dependencies in the JSIPFS uh, only ha only hash um, PR um, that kind of fixes something that is used by the pin by pinning and by the interrupt test for pinning um, and the interrupt tests are also using uh, the fixes that Dimitri and I have been looking at in uh, IPFS in the Daemon uh, library. Okay, cool. It's, mm -hmm. it's getting across. Yeah. Uh, and um, so I don't have a full week this week to work, but I'm gonna, so I, I don't think I'll take on anything new, but I'm gonna try to be as responsive as I can on, on uh, the current PRs that I have up. 
and uh, give any feedback, you know, wherever I can. Um, Got it. When, and, yeah, and so okay. I know you so, give me- To help you, huh? can, I, can you tell me on the pin pull request? Like, so you said that there is like mm -hmm. some dependencies, some other PRs that need to be mm -hmm. merged. Can you just like yes. give a status of PR saying, once these PRs are merged, like this PR needs to get a review so that like then sure. me or anyone else in this call can review mm -hmm. and your feedback? I'll make a central list of, of how that goes. Sweet. Thank you. You want to say something more? Um, yeah, just that I had seen your, I, this is the first time I've been on, I just saw your uh, feedback on the, your comments on the, uh, uh, the in this, the daemon initialization issues with re like returning for callbacks and, and the try catch thing. Um, so I'll work on that hopefully push them in the next like 30 minutes. All right, cool. I, I think I got you what you said about, okay. you got my review to your peer. So you're going to work on that. Yes. Got it? Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, impressively, I can see you pretty well. Yeah, that's the audio. The audio just like kept like, mm -hmm. come on Zoom priorities. Um, it's probably my microphone. Oh, I see. Better. Yeah, because last week it was it was the same. Yeah, and I see that you're in a different place now, so it it, it can't be the connection. <laughs> all right, all right. This is also yep. a public library, so it's probably a little bit. Uh, five minutes. Le five minutes left. Let's go to Zane, and then just like open for any other questions. Zane. Cool. Uh, last week just kind of went through some issues, saw like what was available, cherry picked one. Uh, submitted PR. I uh, think I just misunderstood uh, what the request was. Uh, so, going to submit another PR and I'm available for like requests. So, if there's something that's like low making fruit or something that like doesn't need so much context or would help me build context, happy to tackle those issues. Got it. Um... Definitely, like starting from one of the projects, or just IPLD, or just like peer to peer, or just IPFS, and staying there for a bit might help. Um, like, for, for probably the just IPLD PRs are going to be the ones most contained, like that don't interact with the, the other projects. And so, you can always like check like the waffle board. So there's a waffle board for each of these projects. Um, like peer to peer slash just like peer to peer, IPLD slash just IPLD. IPFS slash JS IPFS. And you can always filter by help wanted, which means open to the community. Like someone should, with a little context, get in, be able to ship something. Um, and then there's the difficulty. Like if you grab the easy ones, uh, the easy just means like, it, it's, it's more easy in terms of time. Like the time that you, from zero to like understanding what is the problem to fixing the problem to like submitting the, the pull request. Um, okay. and, and so, given that those are more time bounded, or at least we expect them to be time bounded, of course there is human error, um, you should be able to tackle more. And like by tackling more, like get a more complete understanding of how the project is structured. And, and so, so yeah, like I would recommend you to, get, to jump from just IPLD help wanted issues to just IPFS help wanted issues. Um, okay. And see, and see, yeah, and see, and see if you find issues. Uh, and again, like if you don't understand what is being asked, just like ask on the issue itself for more clarity. Okay. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Thank you. All right. All right. Um, okay. So we are done with the updates. Thank you, everyone. Um, let's. So I noticed that like Volker updated the template for this call. Um, I, I didn't have the time to propagate it to here, but he added one important section, which is questions or other topics that people uh, want to bring to this call. Like, is there any question about any specific part of the project? Um, we already talked about WC star, uh, WS star. We already talked about the Uglyfy. Is there any other thing that you want to bring up? For example, the types thing, Volker, do you want like, to give an update on that? Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yes, so, uh, yeah. so I was about to say about the types thing. So there currently is an ongoing effort to add uh, flow types. I'm not sure if everyone's familiar with it. Mm -hmm. Can you please do so? Okay, yeah, so everyone's familiar, okay. So um, so because like, um, and so the current problem I see is that we really need to kind of 
get into an agreement if we want to do it or if we won't do it. Um, it won't be really a final one. It's just like a matter of do we want to pursue it and go for it for now? And then if we find out it doesn't work out, we can straight go back. But should we really give it a go for now and see what happens or shouldn't we do it? That's the current problem, basically. So I'm in favor of doing it. And I will also be like, I would uh, take the responsibility of basically if there's any issues regarding to this, I will fix them or keep an eye on them and so on. So I will volunteer to do this. But yeah, I kind of want to hear from you. Like, do you guys agree on like, we should go for it or we shouldn't? So that's the question basically. So does anyone have any comments? Uh, I do have one, uh, which is like the ask, like, should we try it or not? It really depends on like how we approach it. Uh, we have many, many repos right now. We like we have many interdependencies, like some modules that depend on different versions. Um, so it makes it like if we when we make that kind of decision, like change the test runner or change the the linter or something, it requires to go through all the repos. So like asking to go flow or try to try to try flow in all the repos is kind of like a very daunting task because it requires a lot of hours of work. And so what, I, what I'm asking is that we should have like a map of like, okay, first milestone, like try flow in X amount of repos that can be picked um, from our mountain of repos so that we can have a, like an experience with it, like not to go full flow, but like maybe pick six or seven repos um, that are smaller in scope so that it doesn't like, take a lot of time to actually add flow to it. And I think like multi formats is an excellent um, selection. For example, like all the JS multi things, um, we can move those to flow and then, for example, pick JS CID, which uses a bunch of the multi formats, and we can have our first test by like doing that migration and then after that migration then we understand okay sh are we happy is there any blocker should we do another milestone where we select a bunch of other repos or should we go like full flow from now on and then if we once we decide to go full flow does it mean that, like some people will like spend a week or more of their time just migrating everything or are we going to do it try like try to do it gradually does it make sense? Because because like this is a lot of work. Like doing all the change changes are is a lot of work. Yeah. Um so so I would definitely say it won't be like changing all repos to flow in, in one go. I would rather because currently we start on the body format stuff. And I think it's totally fine to really have many repositories not using it. Like for example, like like JS IPFS, which is like a core repository. It can go without the flow types for another year or whatever. So I would rather basically start doing those, and then see if we start a new project or making bigger changes, we can then go for the flow stuff. And I think it's yes, I think I agree. It's important that you do it basically incrementally. Mm -hmm. But what I basically want to have the buy-in from people is that should we move forward with it? Obviously, in the least destructive way, but at least like. Or is there anyone saying, oh, no, I don't want to do the, the type stuff at all. It's too complicated. I'm against it. So this is kind of what I'm currently asked for. Um, because then you can figure out the details afterwards, like the, how we actually do it. But yeah. Any other comments, Dimitri? Um, so I, I think we, we haven't actually be awesome, but the, the issues raised the in the issue itself about uh, you know raising the bar for contributors and that still is there and um, I'm not sure how to approach that but having types is definitely going to help a lot um, in general and I'm 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 all for that but it's going to be a, a lot of work and it's going to definitely um, raise the bar for contributors in general uh, in some cases so just mentioning that again. Okay. Yes, so I would also say, in order to be really useful, obviously everything has to be typed. And I think it will take a long time until it's really useful. But I think it's already like partly useful. I mean, it's like, so the, I think the overhead is already 
is low enough to be useful for now, and until it's really super useful, it will take a while, but we will get there. I, uh, Zane? Yeah, uh, I would say I would be, as a new like dev, I'm in favor of types. Um, it really actually helps you understand the code a lot quicker. So there is some overhead uh, with the additional annotations, but um, I think that like flow is kind of out there. So it's um, not like that unexpected that you would have encountered it before. Yeah, I think. Cool. This is good. Great feedback. Thank you. Um, Volker, I think this means that like translating all this feedback into an action plan, um, it is like time boxing the decision to start, like actively pushing things to flow. Uh, have a concrete plan, like just just for the sake of everyone's sanity, like let's propose, okay, five repos, 10 repos, we'll move those first. And and then like have the PRs and have that work described as like the first milestone and then like have a date to check in with the experience like do the retrospective did it work well are we happy this this look great what did we get from it uh, was there already any bug that we caught from it etc uh, and then design the milestone two plan. And there is like a giant issue like discussing this. Perhaps it's better to have like the type system plan as a separate issue, just like to document these milestones and dates and sync camps and notes that references the overall discussion so that we we don't lose the plan in the sea of comments that is on the other issue. Also good. Uh, Volker, just like to double check. Um, are you volunteering also to like to lead this endeavor? And like keep everyone on track. Yeah, yeah, I will do this. Yeah. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Okay, cool. So I guess that was the extra question for today's call. Uh, we are already six minutes over. Um, let's like break here. I know that there was some extra questions about no trust. I, I am going to stick around, stick for ten more minutes if you want to talk about that. But yeah. Um, closing the recording now. Thank you so much. Oh, before we depart, uh, the famous question Does everyone feel confident about what they should be working this week? <laughs> everyone, everyone confident? Cool, 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 cool. Awesome. Thank you. That's perfect. Um, all right. So if you are leaving now, bye bye. See you on the interwebs. Going to close the recording now. <laughs>